Dearly beloved, we gather today to pay tribute to the red envelope that changed the world. At just 25 years young, the Netflix DVD service is going dark, leaving behind a legacy of innovation that truly shaped a generation. Remember when we used to get those in the mail, the red envelope DVDs? There is something special about getting a package in the yeah. mail. In an era where Netflix is known as the world's dominant streaming service, with more than 238 million subscribers, You'd be forgiven if you didn't realize the company was still shipping out DVDs. Flashback to the 90s where watching a movie at home usually required a trip to your local blockbuster. But then in 1998, Netflix blew up that business model by providing movies on demand through the U.S. Postal Service. This is a DVD service. Mm -hmm. So you get for 20 bucks a month, you get three DVDs. So you can have them come into your house and you can get some great family movies. In 2000, Netflix launched the first algorithm to recommend movies based on previous selections. A year later, it reached a million subscribers. And in 2007, as it was reaching its one billionth disc shipped, Netflix introduced another innovation. DVD rental giant Netflix today is launching a new service that lets subscribers watch movies on their computers. A streaming giant was born. Blockbuster goes out of business. And then another major market disruption as Netflix expands into content creation with hit shows like Orange is the New Black and House of Cards. I binge watch until 2 a.m. A child of the dot-com era was now going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the granddaddies of both movies and television. Television, but all the while, still sending those DVDs to the homes of millions of Americans. I didn't even know that was still a thing. It's still a thing. <laughs> Until this week. It's just weird thinking about how it's something you'll tell your kids and your grandkids about, and they'll think you're just a dinosaur. As a thank you to loyal subscribers, Netflix offered a final shipment of up to 10 free DVDs for customers to keep. A bitter week for some. Hey. Sweet right. for others. That is amazing. I worked for Blockbuster as a store manager back in the day. Why are you so happy about the end of the DVD? Because they put Blockbuster and me out of business. The red DVD envelope is survived by streaming giant Netflix and millions of empty mailboxes across the United States. I'm going to be honest, no, I didn't even know they were still doing the red envelopes. You know what I mean? Like, that is that is early, millennial, late 90s, I mean, all of the above. But what's so interesting is the way that Netflix is still so relevant to all of us today, right? It's not like eight tracks, if people even know what that is, like, where it's just totally a down. Netflix is still around. People still watch shows on Netflix, even with Netflix's business model starting to change Post disruption, its stock yeah. is down. They're making people, you know, cut back on sharing accounts with the password sharing, et cetera. Where does this company go? So they've really shifted in the last few years from a company focused on growth to a company focused on profits. And their stock about two years ago took a huge dive, but they've actually rebounded pretty nicely over the last 15 months or so. And even during the writer's strike, They've done pretty well, a lot better than a lot of other content creating companies. They have found a way to reinvent themselves. They've done this time and time again. And to your point, they're still around 25 years later. So I would not expect the end of the DVD mail in service to do much to their stock price now. Allie. Our Gen Z streamer, as old as our Gen Z colleagues. Noah Pransky, thank you so much. Sure. Appreciate it. That's a wrap for this hour. We've got more coverage picking up right now. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.